For example, Trump is all about building this border wall to keep out those lazy Mexicans that work so hard to steal our jobs. However, that makes sense. Leaving aside the fact that Congress would still have to okay any budget for this amazingly stupid venture, which, side note, Hillary Clinton, Chuck Schumer, and Dianne Feinstein all voted for back in 06. Obama has already proven that you don't need a wall to be an asshole on immigration. Already by 2015, Obama had deported roughly 2.5 million people, more than any other president in U.S. history, more in fact than all of the 20th century presidents combined. Sit with that for a second. Okay, how about international affairs? In late January, Glenn Greenwald penned this piece for The Intercept with a title that pretty much sums up that aforementioned collaborative dung heap. Obama killed a 16-year-old American in Yemen. Trump just killed his eight-year-old sister. In 2010, Obama ordered a CIA drone strike that killed 16-year-old Colorado-born Abdulrahman al two weeks after another CIA drone killed his father, Anwar al also an American citizen. Obama's administration claimed the killing of the son was collateral damage, but never shied away from the killing of the father, despite the fact that as an American citizen, Anwar had the right to a trial and due process. And his son, well, what kind of protection should he have had? Or his American citizen sister, who was just killed last week? 